Good morning. Good evening. Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. I always used to tell my father that I really hated public speaking. And he tried to convince me that he hated it as well. But it's just something he had to do. So I'm going to try my best to be fearless. Oh, God. In this moment, for the first time, your words resonate deeply within me. No longer do I want to tilt my head and squint my eyes in confusion. You are simply extraordinary. Amidst my tears, I reflect on the man that you were. Driven, determined, and always surpassing expectations. That was your ethos. You urged me to reach new heights I never even imagined. Whenever doubt clouded my mind, you would chuckle knowingly and say, you really just don't know whose child you are. You'll soon find out. <laughs> and once again, you were right. I've come to find out. I could never fathom how you managed to do it all. It seemed inconceivable. Turning everything you touched to gold while remaining an unwavering anchor for your family and friends. Distance meant absolutely nothing to you. Even when I studied overseas, you traveled continents on a whim just to see me for a couple of minutes before heading back to your responsibilities. Also those midday check-ins to make sure I was doing my work when I was ingrained. If not, I'd be disciplined seriously. <laughs> These were a testament to your steadfast and ever constant love. Whenever your name graces my lips, I make sure to emphasize that my father was a feminist, a champion of equality. <laughs> oh my God. He was a divine blessing in my life, instilling in me the confidence to defy convention, to never conform. According to him, my mother, Hannah, and I were the most beautiful, and my nickname was also Pretty. Who will prompt me to flash a peace sign in every photo? Who will engage in marathon debates with My nickname was also Pretty. Who will prompt me to flash a peace sign in every photo? Who will engage in marathon debates with my friends and myself on flights to Cape Town? Who will inquire, what are they saying about me online today? And who will ask me about my thoughts on Wigwe University? You were a paradox a tower of strength with a heart as soft as silk. You can never raise your voice at me without calling me an hour later to apologize. Your influence extended far beyond our family circle. You effortlessly convinced my friends that their futures lay in Nigeria, urging them to elevate their aspirations. You've left me with enormous shoes to fill but you've also gifted me with an unwavering support system. You nurtured your relationships with such care that you've bestowed upon me fathers to guide and protect me. For that, I'm eternally grateful. I love you deeply and I ache for the day we'll be reunited. To resume our cherished gossip sessions, to continue our pep talks about life and everything in between. With all my love, Mama T, AKA, you're pretty.